what is the difference between LDA and PCA? The best you can do that probably you can pause the video and think in your mind that what is actual difference. If you look at, let's say, if this is the data and this kind of data belongs to class 1 and this kind of data belongs to class 2, the PCA will give you this direction. This image has been taken from this particular site. The PC will give you this direction. Why? Because there is too much spread in this direction. The variance of the data, you know, it is not bothered that it is variance of class 1 or class 2. It will see that variance is too much in this direction and that's what it will say this is the direction of PCA. Whereas, this is bothered with that, okay, let me see the distribution for class 1 and distribution for class 2 and this can say that this is the direction of LDA. Why? Because here the overlap is minimum. If you look at this is the difference between the mean of these two classes are separated out by maximum distance and variance is also smaller in this direction and that's why the overlap is lo lowest here. On this line probably this is what can be the threshold and you can say this side is class 2, this side is class 1. So if I explain once again this is just bothered about the variances in axis whereas this is bothered about variances in x with respect to y or rather you should say the difference of axis with respect to y so take y equal to 0 1 side y equal to 1 1 side y depend variable equal to 1 1 side depend variable equal to 2 1 side so it is bothered about the axis but with respect to y it is trying to find that particular line where the difference of the x if we project in that particular line the mean of the projection points are separated out by maximum distance so to put these in words you can think of that LDA discovers relationship between dependent and independent variable whereas PCA is all about relationship between independent variable. LDA tries to do variable reduction based on strength of relationship between independent and dependent variable. Even if you are using Fisher's ratio, it is all about find those variables which have more discriminatory power. So it is based on relationship between independent and dependent. Whereas PCA, it is trying to reduce based on only the collinearity of variable that these variables are co-related. It is not bothered that what is the value of y. For that reason, LDA is used for prediction of classes where it is used to generate artificial variables. LDA finds the direction that maximizes the difference between two classes whereas PCA is not talking about the outcome at all. It tries to find the direction that maximizes the variance in the data and these two serve the different purpose. This is trying to do the classification and this is trying to create the artificial variables which can explain maximum variance in the data.